Regeneration is the value that lets us develop sustainably through creative contribution to and by our staff and students for the society we want to build in South Africa and our wider continent and for the benefit of a world changing before our eyes. It lets us look inward for renewal and fosters innovation for the common good. It guides us as we seek to make a positive change and to uncover and realize overlooked opportunities. As we teach, wonder, question everything, learn willingly and bring the fruits of our research to the edge of a new future, providing all those who undertake this journey of knowledge with us with the tools we need to create tomorrow. Welcome to the Phoebe 2020 Virtual Awards Ceremony. We are pleased as a faculty for your presence. If you have a 2020 eyesight, it's said that your eye strength is very good. This year is the year 2020. I've always imagined what would happen in the year 2020, given that we have all these jokes about different years. 2019 was supposed to be 20 nice. 2020 was a different year. And as a faculty, it was a challenging year. We had COVID-19 and we had to deal with the faculty, in the faculty with different challenges. We are very glad right now. We have come towards the end of the year and we look forward to the new year. But as we close the year, we want to recognize some of our colleagues who have done very well. Phoebe has a life cycle, and as a champion, the life cycle is full of trouble. I have the following things about the life cycle of Phoebe so that you realize as you deal with us about our challenges. The first challenge, every year, January to February, we worry about our enrollment targets. This year, we are looking forward to next year and seeing how that goes. March to April, we worry about performance and the numbers of masters and doctoral students we have been able to produce. Then come May to June, we also worry about our postgraduate targets and we worry about our pass rates. Then come July, August, we worry about accreditations, we worry about the number of visiting academics that we have and honorary doctorates. September, October, we worry about our research outputs. Then November, December, we are closing the year and we all go home and come back again to January, February. So all of, throughout this time, we have the privilege of our colleagues who are hardworking and making things possible. So today, we just want to take a short time to say thank you to these colleagues, to recognize them for their contributions. We are going to have uh, Professor Nyembe making announcement of the winners that we have in teaching and learning area. Professor Yang Shasun also making announcements of the colleagues that have done very well. We thank you colleagues. We do know that it was not a one man's job it was not a several few people's job. All of us were involved in making this possible. As we look forward to the new year, as we look forward to the end of the year, we want to say thank you for your contributions. Some of you, we know you were like ball boys and others ball girls, you know, who just in a game, you pick up the ball, put it in the right position. So some of us, that was your contribution for the year. But we want to thank everyone for the part you have played. You have made it possible for us as a faculty to achieve these things. The colleagues that we are going to be uh, demonstrating and giving awards to is just to recognize that they have done well, but we also know that many more of you were involved in making this engine run. So once again, thank you. Right now, we are going to announce the names of our colleagues that we are regarding as our Ds will please ask you to just share with them, to encourage them, and to make sure that the faculty does well. Thank you very much. 
Over to you, Dr. Debuho Mashifana, to give us a virtual keynote address. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. First and foremost, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment for allowing me to be part of this prestigious event. Often when we do our job, we do not expect to be awarded or to receive recognition. It is the diligence that we put in our work. It is the excellence that we put in our work. It is the willingness to go an extra mile and the willingness to serve beyond the call of duty that often bring moments such as this one. I hope that all the recipients recognize how significant these awards are, that in the midst of a crisis where the entire world is battling with COVID-19 pandemic, you have shown to be resilient, you have shown to be diligent in the way you conduct your job. May these awards serve as a reminder of how resilient you can be as a human being. May these awards also be a continuous motivation and a foundation that as you move into the new year 2021, the faculty is trusting you to continue to be diligent in your work. And the faculty is trusting you to continue to do your work with great excellence. Congratulations, well done, you deserve it. I would now like to call upon Professor Didier Nguyenbe to present the first category of the awards. The award for the top performing academic department in the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment for 2020 goes to the Department of Mechanical Engineering Science. This award is given to the department for its outstanding performance in 2020 with regard to research output. At this stage, the research output verified and recorded sit at uh, 98. The department was also outstanding with regard to nomination of an honorary doctorate, um, a professor from the University of Brown, Professor Gate, was approved by the council and will receive his doctorate from UJ in 2021. The department was also outstanding with regard to nomination and appointment of visiting academics, international collaborators, and the department did very well with regard to the implementation of uh, Africa Cleanest Room project as well as the atomic layer deposition. Wow, I can't believe that our department win this award. And then the, I think that this is a, the effort from our all departmental uh, members, and then they will finally can achieve this goal. And it is when the beginning of the year, I think that uh, we, have, uh, we want to achieve a lot, but the thing is that uh, when the uh, pandemic comes, I think, well, there's going to be a big hit. But at the end, and uh, we achieve a lot. And then I really appreciate all the help from all the department members. So here we go. And then I think that we are going to uh, get another same one next year. Thank you. The award for the best current affair project in the faculty in 2020 that has harvested a lot of media attention goes to Professor Jen, Dr. Madushele, and the team for the 3D ventilator for COVID-19 project. As you know, uh, due to the pandemic, South Africa faced shortage in ventilators at the beginning of the pandemic. And as the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases increased, the team managed to design and develop a portable 3D printed mechanical ventilator that has a customizable base plate. The ventilator was named Aura Primere, meaning a breeze of air provided by printing. And this ventilator project has made the faculty and the UJ very proud. 
Thank you very much. The team would like to thank the Faculty of Engineering and the Belt Environment for the award. Uh, the project was primarily uh, carried out by both our undergraduate as well as postgraduate students from multidisciplinary engineering fields. Uh, particularly, we'd like to thank uh, Prof. Jen, who was the project lead, uh, Mr. Richard Gutzia, Mr. Malcolm Lowe, as well as uh, Mr. Damon Hunsela. Thank you. The award for the staff member in the faculty who has championed and encouraged student volunteerism and community engagement goes to Mr. Dion Kruger. Mr. Dion Kruger has encouraged his student to be part of several projects that uh, shine the light on the faculty. Those projects include a collaboration with Ellen Joseph Hospital, where the student designed and provided masks for healthcare workers, as well as a project involved in the project management 3B engineering module which collaborated with the Santon SPCA. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Prof. Daniel, and thank you very much for honoring me and um, recognizing the work that uh, we do for encouraging student volunteerism and uh, community engagement. That's a big issue for me, and I really like to get our students involved in that. I believe uh, that our students should really go out, reach out, and get engaged in the community. And all of this is part of what uh, we do in project management and UJ Sybil, and it's really something very close to my heart. So thank you very much for recognizing this, and I hope we can continue doing this great work. Much appreciated. Thank you. The award for the top achieving academic staff in the Faculty of Engineering and the Belt Environment in 2020 goes to Dr. Teboko Mashifana. Dr. Mashifana is a senior lecturer and a researcher in the Department of Chemical Engineering. She has been recognized by a number of uh, organizations during the year. To list a few of the awards that she received, she was listed in the Mail and Guardian newspaper as part of the top 200 young South African for 2020. She received the VC award this year for the most promising young teacher. And finally, she was a winner of the hashtag inspiring 50 SA 2020 spotlighted as an inspirational role model to the girls and young women in the STEM field. Wow, uh, it is such an honor to receive this award. I'd like to thank the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment and my department, the Chemical Engineering Technology Department, also to say that the Bucho will not be receiving these awards if she was not a senior lecturer within uh, the University of Johannesburg. So thank you. I accept this with humility and I'm grateful. Thank you. I now hand over to my esteemed colleague, Professor Yang Sun, who is the Vice Dean for Research in the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment and who, by the way, deserve also an accolade for having been recently promoted as full professor. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Nimbir. The award of the most efficient departmental secretary goes to Ms. Nurse Yelisani from Department of Metallurgy. She was awarded for the execution of administrative tasks with effectiveness and efficiency. Good day, colleagues. Thank you very much for this recognition as the most efficient secretary. 
This is the result of teamwork. I work with people and when they respond, it makes me to be more efficient and in turn makes the entire department more efficient. It is hard to put this feeling into words. Nevertheless, I feel deeply honored by my superiors for this recognition of my work. I just want to say thank you to everyone for the recognition and I'm looking forward to even more efficient years ahead. Thank you. The next award of external funding for research goes to PITS. PITS' mandate is to support SMEs through technology innovation, knowledge transfer, and capacity development within the green economy. They have raised over 30 million in 2019. Thank you for, for the recognition, Prof. Uh, I'm happy to accept this award on behalf of the UJ PEATS team. As a technology station, we are grateful to be hosted in the Faculty of Engineering and funded through the Technology Innovation Agency that enables us to, to do all these extracurricular activities. I'd also like to recognize the, the management committee of the technology station and especially the team for the efforts. Uh, attracting the funding is one thing, but implementing the projects is definitely something else. So thank you for the award. The next award of top research for 2019 goes to Prof. Clinton Agbabowa. He has the highest number of research units with 30 units individually and 58 units in total for the center. Thank you to the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment, uh, most especially to the Executive Dean for the honor and the privilege to be awarded the top researcher in the faculty for 2019. Thank you very much, Prof. Michelle, for your support. This award belongs to my entire research team, to Professor Wellington Didi Bokutala, my lifelong mentor, to our wonderful, hardworking PhD student, master student, Pugs of Story Research Fellows. Thank you very much. And to our collaborators in South Africa and overseas, the distinguished visiting professors, thank you very much for the support. Uh, this award is as a result of all the insights and the contributions that every one of you have brought into our research group and to my life in particular. Thank you very much. I also want to thank my lovely wife, my kids for allowing me to do what I like doing most. Thank you very much and God bless. The next award of Most Productive Research Group 2019 goes to Construction Management at the Quantity surveying. This is a new research center with the highest number of doctoral students, innovative use of technology, largest number of virtual sessions of students, and the group has 12 PhD and 18 master students graduates in 2019. On behalf of the sustainable Human Settlement and Construction Research Center and the South Africa Research Chair for Sustainable Construction Management and Leadership in the Built Environment. I, Professor Samuel Kwame Ansan, Provost Chancellor of Cape Zinka University, and on behalf of my colleagues, we are happy to receive this award as the most productive research center stroke entity in the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment. We thank the URC for the support. Our collaborators, postgraduate students, postdocs, business professors, for your support. Also to Professor Twala and Professor Abogba for your leadership and kindness. Thank you. Congratulations to all our awardees. And we are proud of all of you. Hope you are more productive in the new year. Now I would like to hand over to our Executive Dean. Thank you very much for your attendance. You have heard the names of all our colleagues, our Ds, that have been given uh, awards for the work they have done. We do know that it's not them only who did the work, but you were part of the engine that delivered the results for Phoebe. And as you go out now for these festive seasons, we just want to wish you well. We want to let you know that COVID is not asleep. There are fears of a second wave coming. So please enjoy the break at the end of the year, but be careful as to how you do it. 
We'd like to see you coming next year. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. The University of Johannesburg. The future reimagined.